Does living a short 10 minutes from a Costco sound exciting to you? If so, you're gonna wanna follow me along on this Silverado Ranch two-story home tour. So if you've been watching a lot of YouTube channels, it's probably because you're interested in seeing what else is on the market. So I would love to set up a customized search for you. Tap the link in my description below or shoot me a text, give me a call or give, or send me an email and I would love to discuss what it is that you're looking for and get those emails set up to you. So they're coming out to you as soon as that listing hits the market that matches your criteria. If that sounds like something that you'd wanna do, reach out to me. I look forward to speaking with you and setting up those customized emails. But let's go ahead and get into this home tour, shall we? This home is going to feature a mini courtyard in the very front to the left. The kitchen is immediately to the left and you'll see a bunch of stainless steel appliances with white cabinetry, the six burner stove and quartz countertops. And if you could see the opening above the sink that points out to the living room, makes it perfect for enjoying your favorite TV show while cooking a great and healthy meal for you and your family. So now that we're in the living room, you're gonna notice the ceiling fan above. And then over here to the right is going to be a large window that points to the side of the home. And you are also going to notice the luxury vinyl flooring is going to be throughout the entire home. Yes, there is no carpet in this home. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom. One of the half bathrooms is gonna be down here and we'll get to that in just a moment. But first let's go ahead and show you the closet and then the garage because it does have a single car garage. Perfect for guest closets, storage, blankets, and then let's get you right into the single car garage. Let's mention the pegboard that is back there, along with the washer and dryer are gonna be the double stack on the outside and just some storage racks over here for you, but the pegboard is cool. Let me know if there's any people that would be interested in maybe setting up a little workshop right there or something would just be kind of cool to have your own separate space in the garage. And I do have to mention that it is a chilly day today, but it's not really cold in here. And that's probably due to the fact that this home also has Aquatherm, uh, a heating system in place. But let's go ahead and take you back inside. right this way but before heading over to that half bathroom downstairs i just want to show you this little storage cubby here look how cute all kinds of little things in there but let's go ahead and come up two steps and then another two steps into the half bathroom All the bedrooms are located upstairs and a quick left over here and we'll take you right into the primary. So it does have some plantation shutters. It's got a nice elongated window that faces towards the front. And here's the vinyl flooring that I mentioned that is throughout the entire home. And then you are gonna find the primary bathroom with a shower and tub combination and the walk-in closet is going to be all the way towards the rear. Alright, so as we exit the primary on the other end of the hall, we're going to find the other two bedrooms and the bathroom. So to the left right here is going to be bedroom number three. 
is going to be bedroom number two. I love the fact that there is ceiling plans throughout this home, as you saw downstairs in the living room and in the bedrooms. Closets are pretty standard size, but those fans are gonna come in clutch in the winter, or I'm sorry, in the summer, right? So at the end of this short hall is going to be another storage closet. And then immediately behind me, I'm gonna go ahead and move out the way, you were gonna find the other upstairs bathroom. And then what wraps right around from the bathroom is the third and final bedroom, also with an elongated window. However, this one just does have a light, but that's okay because you could choose your own one as long as it has the hookup for it. Another standard size closet here. I would like to also mention that this home had a AC unit that was newly installed in 2017. So I know that that's going to be important for a lot of people to want to know because this home, I believe, was built in 2002. I look forward to meeting you and your family. And as I mentioned, if you would like to get set up to receive listings in a particular area or in Henderson or in another place in Las Vegas, reach out to me and I will get that set up for you. My name is Ashara Gamino, your Las Vegas realtor. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.